Oh, that's mine. <laughs> it's a Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your So are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna come with us? What are you doing? Really you're gonna freaking make some LSD here while we're just sitting around freaking eh? Why am I walking? Am I oh I'm over encumbered. Are you gonna tell me that scroll weighed something? Where is Elder Scroll? They, they weigh 20 pounds a pop. That's pretty ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to drop the Dawn Guard stuff because I don't really... Well, maybe I could find something else to drop. Like Vampire Armor. I know I have that at home. Okay. Now that you've retrieved the... I have no choice. Why are you staying here? As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel... That increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. Oh, okay. We will return for you when we can. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only Alright, we'll do. Let's get on out of here. Let's get up on out of here. Return to Tamriel. Can I just fast travel? Because that would be awesome if I could just fast travel up on out of here. Man, I can't wait to level up to 51. Yo, dragon. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Uh, I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. Purgatory. We are. Sp Wait, why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you. Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your top. I'm Dragonborn. No, thank you. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. <sighs> What is that? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What's happening? you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How could I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor. And I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. So it's basically call Dragon, except call Dernavir. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. 
simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. That's pretty cool, I guess. We already have something like that, but yeah, it's pretty cool. He looks so awesome, though. Just the way he's like chilling up there. Evil gargoyle goyle looking dragon. It's awesome. Alright, uh, for now I'm going to speak the name of Arvac, my fellow undead steed. I'm going to dub this person, this thing's name, Pegasus. Undead Pegasus. Charge. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I enjoyed this part of the game. Um, you know, I mean, it's there's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty open wasteland, barren-like. But, uh, you know, they added some quests so you don't get completely bored if you're a completionist. Which I always respect. Because that way it doesn't feel linear. It feels like you can do what you want, kind of. You don't want to do the main quest right away? Fine, do some side quests. I think that's cool. I respect that. What the fuck? And jump. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, we should be getting there soon. <laughs> this place is big. I'm glad we got our back. I mean Pegasus. Undead Pegasus. Pegasus is a walker. Alright, I guess we're here. I'll see you later, Arvac. I mean Pegasus. I'll see you later. The fuck? Jesus. Alright. <sighs> Our vampires will blot out the sun. Beyond death. Achievement. Over here. That was fun. I enjoyed myself. Now what? Do I uh, talk to you? So turn that off. Bring the Elder Scroll to Diction. How do we get out of here? Is there an easy way out? What now? What now? What do you mean what now? We just completed that. That's a big deal. Don't you think we? Should... You don't have any words for me at all? What now? Are you kidding me? Volikar balcony. Okay, we're on the balcony. It's a nice view of Skyrim. Journal, map. Time to go to Fort Dongard. <clears throat> Him. <laughs> Yo, look at they got a little camp going on down here. What's up, guys? I hey. hope we can go home soon. I don't like it here. Yeah, I don't blame you. At least Barknar and I are here together. Who's Barknar? Barknar. Why can't they just let us in? We won't get in the way. That is true. Like, I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep outside. I'd be afraid a vampire would like just chomp down my neck. Speaking of vampire, can I not be a vampire anymore? Because I hate being a vampire. I hate being a vampire lady. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, pretty face. Let's get up on out of here. Speaking of which, where's Lydia and Cicero? <laughs> like, they've been gone forever. I don't know where they are. They're definitely not here, though. Do we have to, like, go back and find them? Because I... Like, I just completely forgot all about them. Hey, they're gone. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where we lost him last. Like, they went in the castle with us, with us, but it seemed like at a certain point they just stopped falling. Shadowmere! There you guys are. I'm a vampire. I hate being a vampire. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go back to Morthal and see if I can get that guy to help me out again. He's a cool guy. And he doesn't sacrifice children to the dead, so that's good. <laughs> so that's a good thing, you know. It's a plus. That is a plus indeed. Hello? 
I know I'm a vampire. So just chill. Chill out. I need help. Do you Ooh. like magic? Damn. Mm, mm, mm. So I love like that. I know you for what you are. This town's blood is mm. ours. Leave it. Now we must return to our roles, lest the sheep suspect the wolves. Oh, she knows you're a vampire. She's a vampire, by the way. Spoiler alert. Although I don't know why she doesn't have like the glowy eyes like I do. Look into my eyes. Don't like those eyes. You I don't know where this. What's his name? Felion. That's his name. We're gonna wait till daylight so I could cure my vampirism. All right. <clears throat> I went to a room, uh, to an inn and asked about rumors to get the Felion thing to happen again. Felion likes to explore a bit. My talents are much needed here in order to keep more. Th I know. I have met Daedra and Dwayne. It. When you have a gem and have filled it, return to me and I will perform the ritual. I will bring life to your dead body, vampire. Morthal is a trouble. Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. We shall banish the creature you have become. Thank you, friendo. Look at this dead ass werewolf. That scared me. Oh, I hate this so much, but there's, there's no enemies around us. Let me wait. All right. All right, so I'm no longer a vampire. I figured I shouldn't record that since I already have, and it might be repetitive, and yada yada. And that looks really cool, actually. <laughs> um, anyways, so we did that finally. Thank God. Oh, yes, Bethesda. I know there's enemies nearby. I'll manually fast travel by sprinting. <laughs> Reflection on the water looks really good too. This game is just gorgeous. Alright, now that I'm no longer a vampire, and we found our companions, we can move on with our lives. 